Hi, my name is Ricardo Bosman and I work as a product manager for Codium. In this video, we're going to show you how to detach the secondary arms of our SL50 and SL40 models. For example, to change the springs, the rollers and the cups, for which we have separate videos on how to change those. To change the arms, you need a few things. First, we always advise to use safety glasses. We have a wrench to make it easier to spread the arms. We have our special arm spreader, which you can order as a spare part or as a, a tool when you buy a robot. And in this case, we made a beam to support, in this case, a TCP, but you can also use it to support the gripper as an extra support because it's also mandatory or advised to check to make sure that all arms are on their motor brakes to give extra support. To start changing the springs or detaching the arms first, I will put on my safety glasses. Then I take the beam, I place it underneath the TCP like this for extra support. And then I start with spreading the arms using the arm spreader. So what I do, I place it in a bit on the high side spread it out until it is in position. You can do it manually or you can use a wrench, in this case a size 24, that makes it easier to spread the arms. In this case I do it by hand because it's faster, but if it takes too much force you can use the wrench, wrench to make it open. <clears throat> As you can see it detaches quite easily because of the tension of the spreader and watch once it is loose, you take out the arms like this. I always put them down, hold them and release the spreader. This is important because you need the space to further detach the arms and springs. You take it out. So. Depending on what you can do now, is you can easily already detach your springs, but I will detach the arms first in whole. So you release them like this, and you'll see automatically they will cross. And this also enables you to pretty easily detach the arms like this. Here you are. So now if you, you have detached the arms, depending on what you can do or what you want to do, you can now either change the cups, the rollers or change the springs. So in this case, I will leave the bottom side on because it's more or less really easy to change. What is important that you take a look at the spring position. In this case, the way they are mounted now with the hooks down, this is the way the bottom springs need to be. This is important. Top spring, I will show you in a little bit. If you want to reattach the arms after you change the wear parts, the cups, whatever, it is easy to again cross them like this. You place on the first and then oh, depending on the space you have, you go out and then oh, you place it on the second cup. You place them back together like this. And there's already tension now, so this is easy. You now take this spring, but you take it upside down. So not like below. And you take the hooks and you go up. You're upward facing. So like this. You hook them. Make sure you don't drop the arms in this position. Unless you damage them, you hook the other side. Now, again, I do the same. I place one side already on the ball joint, like this. I hold the other one. I take the spreader. I place it again pretty high. It makes it far more easier to spread them. And then I turn them out. Oh. Make sure you keep them in position, like this. You turn them out. You'll see when you have enough space. And the last bit, you can help it a bit to make sure it pops on easy. Now, 
is on, you release a spreader. And they're in position in there. This is how you reattach or detach the secondary arms in order to change the wear parts uh, attached to them. If you have any questions or questions after you, you watch this video, you can always reach out to us on sales at codeonrobotics.com or you can reach out to your local BNR contact person. Thank you.